Well, it's been a couple of days since I played on the ute. Um, I had to chase down some parts. So today I managed to find myself a fairly decent X-Force system. Uh, tailpipes all stainless. Um, yeah, it's in good condition. Catalytic converter's in good condition. And I also managed to get my um, lower intercooler pipe set up. So I've got everything I need now. Um, I'm gonna give this stuff a clean up. We'll start throwing it together and hopefully by this afternoon um, we'll have it fired up. Alrighty, wastegates on, um, dump pipes on. I have vacuum hose just for some wastegate pressure. Just draining the oil out, oil and filter, and then we're going to have a go at starting it up, get some oil pressure, make sure we get oil pressure to the turbo. And you can't do a conversion or anything without running it without the exhaust on. You have to hear what it sounds like, so that's what we're going to do in a sec. As far as the cooler goes, it's over there for the power steering. Um, I've just bypassed it for now, and I'll worry about a cooler later. It's not a priority, nor do I think it's important. I could be wrong, but... So, oil's changed. Everything's ready to go. I'm just going to replace the fuel pressure regulator with the one for the turbo which is a four bar and then um, we'll fire it up that's done it's just as simple as pulling out where is it pulling out that circlip it pops out just replace it done right i'm just going to start it and um without any revving or anything I'm just going to check we're getting oil to our oil feed so just kick it mate <laughs> flow of oil so that's good that's connected back up just fire it up again mate Just chuck the intake on. Um, let's see if we can make some boost.
boost control showed up boost pressure gauges showed up so I'm going to chuck them on and I've organized a tuner who's local so I'll also stick my uh, map sensor in there as well we're 100 percent positive that this is completely disconnected I've cut it and tucked that away down in there make no mistake she's not gonna get any vacuum and on this side where it pumps into here I have basically let me just undo it so you can see where I cut it I've got my lighter gave it a twist and sealed it off so there's no vacuum leak anymore coming out of that and that's that and as far as my boost gauge goes I've tapped into that same line that runs down to that little solenoid there that we we're not really using um, put my t-piece in here and then I've got my hose that will go to my boost gauge in the car access into the cab um, that's not going to crush this hose because if this hose is kinked or crushed we're not going to get accurate reading on our gauge um, there is a grommet here I'm going to go on the inside of the car and see where that goes to. I might be able to tap into that. So yeah, I found that hole. That was nice and easy to get to. And I'm going to assume that that's for a clutch pedal setup for a manual. So if you've got a manual and you're doing this, you might have to find somewhere else. But automatic, I'm just going to drill a hole in this and um, run the hose through there. Perfect, nice and easy. A lot of these modern cars are really hard to get access into the cabin because of all the insulation and stuff. Um, but yeah another easy little part on the forward good stuff there you go nicely located through the firewall in an existing grommet and into the cab and i've mounted my boost control valve as per instructions so as far as my boost gauge goes um, a lot of people mount them up here you get like a dual pod set up um, some guys mount them on their a pillar I don't know whether that's legal or not um, but I don't want to run extra gauges I mean they look great but I don't need to run extra gauges I just want my boost gauge so all I've done I had a spare gauge bracket kicking around in my shed it's just like a universal one and it's not even screwed in it just sits between the dash cluster and the dash panel and she just sits there just fine so that'll do slide drive as much as I can without hitting my um, hazard light switch and in the driving position I can see all my gauges over there so yeah that's got to work out just fine and I've not modified anything and I'm just going to run my wire underneath and uh, we need to hook up the, um, the actuator for the boost gauge it's electronic digital one so the vacuum one goes into that so I'll screw that up underneath the dash and while I'm in here and got all that apart I have bought myself a Bluetooth device for the BF um, which just plugs into the factory harness and then I think it just runs off the auxiliary menu on your um, ICC, the standard ICC so, and also has a charge pod as well for it so charge port so yeah hopefully that works okay, it was cheap Auxiliary for the ICC for my little Bluetooth Bluetooth device is up behind the fuse box of plugs And so I've just tapped into one of the power wires there which gives me 12 volts when the ignition's on And that'll power the boost gauge as well so that was nice and easy So just a quick test before we uh, tuck all the wiring away Ignition on Ooh, pretty Boost and Bluetooth Excellent all right, so I guess the next thing that we can do is um, take it for a bit of a spin and see what happens.